celebration of past and present icons. Lay your own legacy. Well, the, the beauty of the boy field was that I was young when I was in the secondary school, when I even finished school, even up to the time I finished uh, university, I was a bit young. So the boy thing didn't come to me until much later in, uh, in, 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 uh, in life. And I think then the focus was, um, uh, you, when you look at your background, you see, I, my parents were not poor, but yet I won't say that uh, they were that uh, rich. You talk of middle income people, my dad was um, um, a surveyor in the Federal Civil Service, uh, I think probably them level 15 officer, level 16 officer. My mom, I think, retired early. So we were just okay, you know, dad with one car, mom with one car, you want to borrow a car to go out from your mom. You know, that's just it. We have your own house, just one house you live in. That's the way, but it, it's just the focus that, look, I need to change how things are. And I felt that the medium was education, education, education. And I give, I give my best to it. And I still remember my dad then used to say, ah, you are my dear, ah, oh, you are low, and that's me. I don't do housework. I hated doing that work. The only thing, he said, look, the only thing you can do in you is just to read. That is good. You know, so the only thing I was doing then was to read. And he, gave, he allowed me to do my reading, face to my, and he was supportive. That's when I met my dad. You can ask for money to buy shirt, buy this. He won't even listen to you. But his problem is asking for school fees. Before you know it, your, the money is on your table. So we know how to get money from him now. Wow, or ask him to buy, for, to buy books. The money will land on your table, but wow. you no money to buy shirt. That's my mom's uh, area yeah, to go. To, to, that's how me to buy you shirts. And so you want to buy books, you tell you want to buy shirts. You tell your dad you want to buy books. So <laughs> you use the, so. But that's but by and large, I, she he really 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 and I'm so happy that um, I had that determination and I had that determination. You know, and luckily for me, the exams, professional exams were uh, quite okay for me. I didn't really have much problem and have not even studied accountancy mm -hmm. in the university. But it didn't, it didn't really have much problems. Immediately I finished my ICANN trading, you know, finished my exam. The next thing is what I want to do with myself, you know. Uh, I joined, uh, briefly joined the uh, Legacy Water Corporation. Mm -hmm. You know, we just worked for like um, six months, one year, before I joined the uh, Public Financial Young Co. You know, and that's how my love for insolvency came to be and that's how I knew that that's my love for law because law, insolvency and accountancy they are intertwined so you can't even separate one from the other. So I knew, uh, I think I was an assignment in Calabar and, um, and then you know for that kind of job, receivership, if, however small you are, you will be a top person, you will be, because you will be, you, you will be the, even the head of the organization. So I was the head of the organization so I could talk to the VC of uh, university straight away at, at my age, I think I'm probably about 25 then. I could talk to the visa and say, uh, visa, I want to admit. I said, oh, no problem. So I got my admission there. I did it part time, of course, before I came back to Lagos, finished it in Calabar. And the rest is, um, is history, yeah.